Hey, this is Perry Marshall, and I'm long overdue to mention a really great book that came out not too long ago. It's called The Works of His Hands by Cy Gart. And Cy is a molecular biologist that I met at some science meetings in the last few years. And uh, probably a couple years ago, he sent me a manuscript of this book, and I read it. It was like, dude, you have to get this book published with a good publisher, and you need to really do this justice because this is way above average. So, this is a science and faith book, but it is not like most. Um, in my opinion, most science and faith books are a little starchy or a little too sentimental or they have bad science or whatever. Um, this one was a real gem. Um, Sai um, has had some very um, high-level positions in biology, including government research, and um, he and I really kind of hit it off. Um, and uh, I, I, I don't think I'm being uh, excessively subjective in liking his book. Um, one of the things that we have in common is we are both fans of the extended synthesis um, which is a complete revision of neo-Darwinism and, uh, and I think a far, far better theory um, than what everybody's reading about in the textbooks. And, um, and so he's done a lot of work in this area, and so we speak the same language. Um, but the other interesting thing about Psy, and there's a podcast that I did with him, by the way, you can go look up, um, is uh, he was raised in a Jewish, atheist, socialist family, and midway through life, um, he had a rather dramatic religious conversion experience. And uh, the way that he puts together the science world and the spiritual world is really um, very well done, artful, and, and quite beautiful. And uh, he has a level of transparency that's just really rare in books like this. Um, a lot of times they're just very propeller head, but he's, he's also a guy with a big heart. So it's a fascinating story with a lot of great science woven in and a lot of fantastic points that he makes in observations, not just in biology, but across a lot of disciplines of science. He's a very well-read guy. So... Um, if you are inclined to appreciate this sort of a book, uh, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best that's come out in the last 10 years. So thank you very much.